hello everyone welcome back to wix ideas in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to add an exit intent pop-up to your wix studio website now as you can see when i try to exit this website a pop-up shows up and this pop-up is telling me to come back and buy more with the 30 percent off today only promo now you can add any kind of information or message that you want your site users or customers to see before they exit your website now this is a great way to improve your conversion rate if you want people to perform an action or a conversion action on your website so as you can see when i hover just right before i get to the x icon here to close this tab off you can see that this pop-up shows up really quickly before i close that tab now i'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step method that i used to achieve this and i promise you this is a very very simple tutorial and I'm going to share with you every single step that you can use to achieve this on your Wix Studio and your Wix Classic websites. Now, before we jump right into this tutorial, my name is Walter. And if you haven't done so, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is going to be a massive help to my channel. And it's also going to get these videos across to all Wix sales across the world. Now, without wasting any more time, let's jump right in. All right. So this is the website where I'm going to be adding this feature to. And the very first thing I want to go ahead and add is a light box or a pop-up. Now, let's head over to this plus sign over here, which says add elements. Now, over here, we're going to head all the way to the layout tools. We're going to head over to the light boxes now here you're going to choose any light box that you like and you're going to go ahead and customize it according to your brand and also according to the message or promo that you're running now i'm going to stick with this very simple one here which i've used in the live example earlier and i'm going to go ahead and click on this example and this is going to add a light box to my website now you don't need to do anything here other than head back to these pages and over here going to go over to the name and you're going to go ahead and copy this name so go ahead and rename you can rename this to anything that you want but most importantly don't forget to copy the name now the name is very important for you in the code when we're trying to open this light box so now i've copied the name and i'm going to go ahead and click on done and the next thing we're going to start doing is to write some velo code now this is a very short and simple code and i'm going to go ahead over this section that says code and i'm going to start coding now this is going to allow us to write in code to this page where you want the light box to appear now for me i want this light box to be on the home page and so as you can see over here this tab opens up on the home page and this is what we're going to be writing in our code now let's go ahead and maximize our code panel i'm about to start writing our first line of code now we're going to be using a very important library called the wix window and the wix window is going to help us to open up our light box so let's go ahead and import wix window all right so i've imported wix window front end and this is a very important api that's going to help us to open up our light box next inside of our unready function we're going to go ahead and clear all these comments and we're going to write in a very simple code which is when the user is exiting our websites now the element i want to use for this is the page now let's head back to our website and over here when you click on a section like this and you use the breadcrumb you can see that we have a page which is what is behind all these elements that we currently see now you can also use the layers over here to target the page because we want to get a page id now the page id is page one and you can simply go ahead and close this up and open up your code panel and over here you can see that we have the page one now we're going to copy this id over here we're going to bring it to our code and we're going to use the wix selector to select our page now what we're doing right here is we're telling the code that when the user tries to exit the page we want to trigger the pop-up to show so we're going to be using the on mouse out so when the user mouses out of this page then we're going to trigger our pop-up to show up and over here we're going to use the arrow function and in here we're going to add an event to our mouse out function now this event holds a very important property that we're going to be using for this exit intent and what it's using is knowing the position that the user is before it triggers now let's head back to this live site and as you can see when i hover just right about this section the pop-up shows up now when you hover within the page you can see that it doesn't really do anything except when you get to this level here and this is where we want to show the pop-up just right before they get to the x here and we show them a promotional banner so what i want to do is to determine what position that the user is before we actually trigger the pop-up to show up now let's head back to our code and in here we're going to use the property of the event now let's go ahead and actually write in the console.log so that we can actually know where the user is in the tab so over here i'm going to say where i am and then i'm going to use a template leader route to actually share to or show where i currently where i am currently on the page 
and i'm going to be using the client y because the client y over here as you can see gets the distance in pixel between the pointer or this arrow here which is what we use here and the top edge of the browser's viewable area so it apparently covers the entire browser even all these areas even though it's not on the website so we're going to go ahead and use the client y which is the distance between where i am currently and the edge of this browser so i'm going to go ahead and publish this and view this on the live site to know what position i am before i trigger the pop-up all right so i'm on the live site and when i right click and head over to inspect you can head over to the console and over here you can see where i am and you can see that these are different positions to know where exactly i am so you can head all the way to this section and as you can see it says 28 which is the position where i actually want to be maybe yours might be different but mine says something around 28. so what i want to do is to leave mine at 30. so i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of this so i'm going to go ahead and use a condition here that if the event or where the user is currently which is the client y is less than or equal to 30 let's just stick with 30 then we want to use the wix window to say wix window dot open light box and then here we're going to add in the name of our light box so if you remember we copied the name of our light box and if you don't remember how to do that head back to your pages and over here in the light boxes go ahead and click on your light box and then go ahead and click on these three icons the three dot icon here and click on rename and then copy the name of your light box now just before we exit our light box there is something important that we need to do you need to click on your light box and over here are the sets triggers you're going to click on that and you're going to set the automatically displays to no now we're going to open this by ourselves using code and if you don't set this to no it's just going to open up when the page loads and we don't want that we only want to show this particular light box when the user actually triggers it within the code so let's go ahead and close all of this and head back to our page code now back here i'm going to go ahead and paste in the name of my light box and this should be exactly what we want you to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and publish our website and also view these on the live site. All right, so this is our live site and we're about to start testing out what we have added. So when a user gets to this area of the page, you can see that the light box shows up. Now you can close this and try that again. As you can see, when I try to exit, it shows up. Now you might have noticed that at the very start when I hovered around this area it didn't show up as quickly as it did right now and the reason is because the light box takes a while to load the very first time that it shows up and the other times the resources have been loaded and preloaded and it shows up pretty quickly but there is a way that we can solve this and we can solve this using a very important api and the api we're going to be using is the prefetch page resources and this is what allows our pages to load pretty quickly before the user actually begins to interact with it so it won't take that long for when the user tries to exit the page the very first time before it shows up so we can refresh this page and take a look at how it works again all right so this page has been refreshed and we're about to test it out the very first time when i try to exit you see the pop-up doesn't show up quick enough before i reach the x icon and this can discourage the site users they might not even see the pop-up before they get to the x icon to you know close the tab so what i want to do is to use this api which is the prefetch page resources to prefetch the lightbox resources and make sure that it's loaded before the user actually triggers the pop-up to show all right so we're going to head back to our page and here i'm going to go ahead and use the wix site front end and this is what is going to allow us to use the prefetch function all right so i'm going to go ahead and add in the wix sites front end dot prefetch resources function and this function is going to take in an object that contains information for the light box or the page so let's head back to this api and as you can see over here we have light box the, the keys or the properties that we're interested in is the light box but we can also preload pages of our website but what we need is the light box and over here you can see that we have two properties the first one is the light box and the next one is the pages and the light box if you have you know many light boxes you can add the names you know inside of the array and if you have pages as well that you want to preload you can also add them inside of the array separate of a comma and these are the slots of the page so for us we're all interested in light boxes so let's go ahead and copy these light boxes here i'm going to bring this back to size and here i'm going to add the square brackets 
and in here i'm going to add the name of my light box and this is the name of my light box so just before the user begins to interact with the elements on my page we're going to preload the light box so that it actually shows up quickly enough before the user closes the tab so let's go ahead and publish the site and view on the live page all right so i have refreshed this page and this is the live site after we have you know added the prefetch page resources and when i try to exit and click on this x you can see that it shows up pretty quickly enough compared to the first time and this is how you can add or use the prefetch page resources to make your light boxes show up on time or you can use it to show up your pages or load them quickly on time before the site user begins to interact with them as you can see when you go ahead again to exit it shows up even quicker than it was before now this is how you add an exit intent pop-up on your wix studio and also on your wix classic site if you know this tutorial was great for you please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel again this is going to be a massive help to my youtube channel thank you very much i appreciate you and i will see you in the next tutorial